Let's wrap up the day by looking at our stress journals. Last session, I asked you all to note your stresses, big and small. Conflicts, uh, frustrations, fears, and rate them from one to five, five being the most stressful. First, I'd like to quickly go around the room and have everyone say their final stress tally out loud. Robert? 39. Paul? Um, 24. That's excellent, Paul. Uh, Diane? 57. Why so much stress this week, Diane? The bus route changed, so I've been driving the girls to school myself, and I had to go by Kmart, and the Kmart by our house isn't open yet, so now I had to go all the way to the one in Carrollton. Okay. Uh, we'll discuss that. Uh, Gordon? Uh, <clears throat> point two eight. That's pretty low. Must have been a good week. Yeah, uh, nothing to report. Uh, um, I'm home, taking my medication. Kids are headed back to school, so... What registered the point twenty eight of stress? Oh, uh, I couldn't find my glasses. Anything else come to mind? Something you might have failed to capture in your journal? Nope. Just seen the glasses thing here, Brendan. Okay. Well, since that's all we've got, that's what we'll workshop. Why don't you role play your stress for us? Sure. I woke up and I thought, where are my glasses? And then I found them and I said, here they are. <laughs> No, let's get you on your feet. I'd like to see you act it out in the center of the group. Here. Why don't you take them off and I'll hold them while you look for them. Okay. It's the morning. You just woke up. But I can't find your glasses. Go. Oh, no. I can't find my glasses. Where are they? 